Crown Jewel, taking place from the Mohammed Abdo Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Like I said, 1 p.m. Eastern time for the main card. Noon for the pre-show. At some point during that pre-show, we will have a kickoff match between Sami Zayn and J.D. McDonough. And they're not beating Sami Zayn in Saudi Arabia, I wouldn't think. Uh, now that he is back, able to go on these tours, Sami Zayn gets the victory in that match. I don't know if this card is in order. Looks like it probably is because the way it's listed, it is bookended with world title matches. The first one being the WWE women's title match, Io Sky against Bianca Belair. I don't know if Charlotte Flair is in Saudi Arabia or if she's going to be a part of the house shows coming up this weekend. There is one in Rochester, New York, and another in Springfield, Massachusetts on Saturday and Sunday. So I don't know if she is going to be a part of those shows. But if she is not, I could see her maybe getting involved, causing Bianca Belair to, to possibly lose the match. What you could also see, and I'll get to in a little more detail with this later on, is Kyrie Sane possibly making an appearance and costing Bianca Belair the match against EO Sky. I, if that doesn't happen and there's no interference, I say, okay, go ahead and give the belt to Bianca. But I got to be honest, I think there's more chase left for Bianca. And I think a. To cut EO Sky at this point in her title reign, again, unless you have something really good planned for Bianca winning it, I think it's okay to hold off on that a little bit. Cody Rhodes faces Damian Priest in a singles bout. I have a feeling something is going to happen with Damian Priest a little bit later on in the show, so I think Cody Rhodes is going to get the victory over him. John Cena against Solo Sokoa. I'm going with John Cena in that match. The United States title match between Rey Mysterio and Logan Paul. I'm really up in the air on this one. You could go either way. I say go ahead and give the belt to Logan Paul. He's got no fights planned for right now. He can hang around, certainly be a thorn in everyone's side leading into the Royal Rumble. I'm all for it. Got a couple more matches on that show to get into, as well as a whole lot more coming up this weekend. We'll be back, Wrestling Observer Live. Back on the show, Mike Semper BB here with you, Wrestling Observer Live. Brian Alvarez will be back with me on Monday, taking a look at everything that took place over the weekend. If you cannot wait that long and you need some more Brian Alvarez in your life, well, the Brian and Vinny show will take place Sunday night. But even before that, on Saturday night, I assume overnight, unless something bizarre happens here, I would have to assume that Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer will be back for subscribers for Wrestling Observer Radio, running down everything that takes place at Crown Jewel. I'm running down the rest of that show right now for you. WWE Women's World Title, Fatal Five-Way, Rhea Ripley against Nia Jax against Zoe Stark, Shayna Baszler, and Raquel Rodriguez. Why would you take the title off of Rhea Ripley? Why? I don't know. I, I wouldn't take the title off of Rhea Ripley. No reason to do that. Just gets five women into that match in Saudi Arabia. That's fine. Cool. Rhea Ripley comes back with the belt. WWE World Heavyweight title. Seth Rollins against Drew McIntyre. Okay. This is, this is what I'm thinking here. Seth Rollins wins this match, but he is in bad shape. And I'm not sure how this is going to happen, but I do know that Drew McIntyre will be pissed off when it happens. He will be would have gotten screwed, and, and somehow Seth Rollins holds on to that belt. And he can complain about it all he wants, but out will come Damian Priest to go ahead and cash in on Seth Rollins. We have a world title change quote-unquote, in Saudi Arabia. Damian Priest comes back with the belt. And again, the the divide between he and the rest of the Judgment Day can continue on. I still believe that Drew McIntyre would be the perfect replacement for him, much more than a Randy Orton or anybody like that. I think Drew McIntyre replacing Damian Priest in that unit would be, uh, to me, the way to do it. And then you have Damian Priest 
going up against Seth Rollins. Maybe if Seth Rollins is screwed over by Shinsuke Nakamura or somebody like that, he can get out of the title picture. And right there it is, all set up. Drew McIntyre against Damian Priest. And oh yeah, if Cody Rhodes defeats Damian Priest earlier on in the show, you can have he and, and Cody Rhodes, Damian Priest and Cody Rhodes do battle for the belt at some point as you lead into WrestleMania season at the beginning of the year. Undisputed, universal, world, global, planetary title, whatever it is, held by Roman Reigns alongside Paul Heyman against L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight has been red hot. He has been no signs really of cooling off right now. He seems to be consistently right there with what people want. He is going to get screwed over somehow in this match against Roman Reigns. We may see a very clean three count you know when it comes to the visual pin but something will probably go down i'm thinking in my mind some sort of distraction some sort of nonsense because of solo or or jimmy uso or something like that where la knight takes the l and we come back to the states with roman reigns continuing to be the undisputed universal world heavyweight champion there you go that's what i think uh, about crown jewel we still have, you know, a couple of shows before we, we get to Crown Jewel. Um, before I get to SmackDown, though, I will say, Kari Sane to me is, I don't know when she's going to be back in WWE officially, but it has been reported that she has been added to the internal roster. This was posted up on the F4WOnline.com front page this morning by Ethan Renner. On Thursday, Russell Votes first reported that Kyrie Sane has been added to WWE's internal roster, signaling her impending return to the company. Sane, a former NXT Women's Champion and WWE Women's Tag Team Champion, left the company in 2021 and last wrestled for WWE in 2020. It was reported in August that she was on her way back to WWE after fulfilling the remaining remainder of her dates in Japan. Sane finished up with stardom in October. Hmm. So her return is uh is coming here and again, could she make her presence felt this weekend in Saudi Arabia? She could. You know, whether EO Sky or Bianca Belair wins, do you you could also do something where Kyrie Sane is waiting for her for for whoever the winner is when they get back. Not sure. Not even sure if she's going to be on the SmackDown roster, you know, either. So it'll be interesting to see what she does. Her presence is, and I'm not saying it's been missed, but her re-addition to that women's roster just makes it even better. Uh, you know, whereas Nia Jax's uh, didn't. You know, Kyrie Sane being there, mixing it up with Bianca Belair, at, you know, who has gotten so much better since Kyrie was there last. The same thing with Rhea Ripley and the character that she has become now. Obviously, you still have Charlotte Flair there. You still have Io Sky. You still have Asuka. There are a lot of really good women up on the women's roster. At some point, we're going to see Tiffany Stratton up there, too. So they do have a great core of women's wrestlers up there. So Kyrie Sane coming back to add to that, that's cool with me. I'll also note here, too, uh, speaking of people who will be returning soon, that AJ Styles is reportedly expected back on the main roster soon. PW Insider is reporting that Styles is scheduled to return on next week's edition of the show on November 10th and will be back regularly from that point on. He's been gone since filming an injury angle that aired on the September 22nd SmackDown, which basically opened up the door for LA Knight to come along and get the title shot that he He's getting tomorrow at Crown Jewel. The rest of the OC has been gone from WWE programming as well. Carl Anderson and his wife just had their fifth child earlier on this week, so he is not there. Luke Gallows has been dealing with a knee injury, so he has not been there. Nishin has been there. She's been wrestling dark matches uh, for at SmackDown tapings, either teaming with Shotzi or Zelina Vega and wrestling Alba Fire and, and Isla Dawn. They're another twosome. We saw vignettes airing that they were going to be coming back. You know, it seems to be they're in a holding pattern right now. But if Chelsea Green and Piper Niven can go over there and lose those titles to Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, I will be quite happy about that so we can go ahead and maybe actually do something with those tag team title belts for the women's division. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.